Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some chocolate sandwich cookies. So these are going to be chocolate biscuits and sandwiched between them is going to be a mint chocolate filling. Now um, quite simple to make and for the mint chocolate filling I'm actually going to use um, these little mints which are dark chocolate on the outside with a white mint filling and what I'm going to do is bake the chocolate uh, biscuits put one of these on top while it's hot maybe two but certainly one let that melt down and then put the other cookie on top um, and let it set so it's going to be as simple as that <clears throat> and the ingredients are um, 235 grams which is one and two thirds cups of plain flour 75 grams which is three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder 150 grams which is three quarters of a cup of sugar 227 grams of softened butter which is one cup half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt and then I have a box of these um, chocolates that I'm going to use you, you could use anything you wanted basically and the first thing I'm going to do is set the butter aside and mix all the dry ingredients together and, um, the reason I'm doing the dry ingredients and then putting the butter into them is that uh, if you cream the butter and the sugar together it becomes fluffy um, and then when you add the dry ingredients and you bake them it tends to rise a little bit more um, than would otherwise be the case and bubbles. Uh, doing it this way um, where the butter goes in last actually uh, coats the flour in a different way and uh, the, the mixture doesn't rise quite so much apparently. So the first thing I'm going to do is to sift the flour and the cocoa powder together and that's only because cocoa powder tends to clump and I want to make sure I get rid of any lumps. So that's those ingredients sifted. So I'll add in the sugar and the salt and the baking powder and then I'm just going to stir those together to get them combined and then what we need to do is to add in the butter and mix that in uh, and I've uh, chopped this butter up into 16 pieces so about a tablespoon per piece and I'm going to add them in one at a time and mix them together on slow with my hand mixer That's mixed together quite well and there's still some little chunks in as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hand in and I'm going to pull that together until it forms a dough. And then I'm going to tip that onto some plastic wrap. And it's not quite come together yet but it will do as it chills down so I'll just squeeze that together
and form it into a, a sort of disc. And then I'm going to put that into the fridge and chill it for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we're going to roll it out and uh, make our cookies or our biscuits. And for that, I'll have the oven preheated at 180 Celsius. That's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. And I will have lined some baking trays with parchment paper as well. So I have my oven preheating now um, to 180 Celsius. That's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. And I've taken out half of um, our dough and I've put that on some parchment paper and I'm going to put more parchment paper on the top and I'm going to roll it out to a thickness of about an eighth of an inch which is three millimetres. And that's about right. So, the next thing to do is to cut out our cookies. And I'm using a cutter which is um, about two and a quarter inches in diameter. like that and then I'm going to transfer them onto a couple of baking sheets leaving a gap in between So there I have 24, so that's enough for 12 sandwich cookies and the other half of the dough will give me another 24. So I'm going to put these into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 12 minutes. And as soon as they come out of the oven, I'll be back to show you the next bit while they're still warm. I've baked the uh, first batch of cookies. They've come straight out of the oven, they're still hot and they're on the hot tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my mince and I'm going to put it on the top of each one like that and I'm going to leave that so that the heat will begin to melt the chocolate and then with it melting the chocolate I'm going to put another cookie on the top the cookies have now cooled down and I've cut a couple open so that you can see inside this uh, 
just has one of these little um, chocolates inside it and if I break this chocolate open you can see whoops if I show you you can see that it's got the white peppermint cream inside so what we've got there is the dark chocolate and peppermint cream inside it um, so I'll have a taste of one It's a lovely tender cookie and I get the hit of the the peppermint cream in the middle. Now you could if you wanted put two of these and they're called after eight mints but I'm sure that in other countries they have a similar thing. They're just dark chocolate thins with peppermint in the middle. Um, I don't know whether Andy's creams are the same thing uh, but these uh, I'm sure are, are fairly widely available so they do taste very very good I hope you've enjoyed this simple recipe and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on which will take you to this recipe and I'll put a link to that below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.